Hey, hey, everybody. I hope you're doing well today. This is Brad Cartwright with Econ Course Companion. And today we're going to take a look at revenue maximization in Monopoly and understanding how you would represent that on a diagram. Let's take a look. Okay, in order to show that, we're going to start in the exact same place that we started with all of the profit diagrams, and that is with the base diagram. What's the base diagram? In Monopoly, it is a a diagram that has price and cost on the vertical axis, an origin of zero, an output labeled on the horizontal axis. Then what do we do? Come back and draw the demand curve, where demand equals average revenue. Then we draw the, the marginal revenue curve, which descends at twice the rate of average revenue. If you don't know why that's the case, check out some earlier videos. Then we come back and we draw the marginal cost curve. Bam, then we look, okay, where is the profit maximizing level of output? The profit maximizing level of output in any diagram that is a revenue diagram that is showing some level of profit in either monopoly, monopolistic competition, or in general, in oligopoly, we find where MC equals MR. Where MC equals MR, this is the point where this firm has the highest chance to, revenize, to, to maximize its profits. It's profits. Now, I know this video is about revenue maximizing, but this is where they maximize their profits. So you take that point up the P, you go across, you take your hand off the, the graph, and you go, hey, nice job. I just did that. Then you look back at the question, and if it were any level of profit, you would draw the average cost curve to represent that. But in this case, what they're asking you for isn't profit maximization, it's revenue maximization. So the question becomes, where would you and how would you show how this firm is going to maximize its revenue? Well, let's take a look. Well, guess what? If a firm is going to maximize its revenue, it is going to produce at a quantity where it takes advantage of making additional revenue for every unit of output until its marginal revenue hits zero. Do you understand that? It's intuitive. This is not hard. If you're a firm and you want to maximize your revenue, right, that means that you want to produce as many things as you possibly can until the next unit of output you make gives you negative revenue. <laughs> right? Of course. So it's not hard, right? So you want to take advantage of ev all of the revenue. This is your marginal revenue. This is the additional revenue earned per unit of output until you get to QRM, which is revenue maximizing, okay? So if you're a firm and you're revenue maximizing, where are you going to operate? You're going to produce the quantity on this diagram, which is from Jocelyn Blink's course companion, where QRM, Q, revenue maximizing. So you would draw then this quantity level up to the demand curve or the average revenue curve and draw across. And guess what you have, my friends? You have a situation where at PRM and um, QRM, this box right here is a revenue box. And this revenue box right here is the largest revenue box you can draw on this diagram. There is no other quantity Price quantity combination that you could draw here doo, 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 that has more area than this box of R M Q R P R M, sorry, Q R M. So this is the revenue maximizing level of output in a monopoly. Okay? So Jocelyn Blink has also drawn the average revenue curve. I'm sorry, the average cost curve in here. And that's useful just to complete the diagram. But actually, this is what you need. The revenue maximizing point of output is where the marginal revenue curve crosses zero because all of this is positive revenue for a firm. And every piece of output that they produce up to this point will bring them additional revenue. And so they're going to produce until it goes negative and they'll stop right there at zero. All right, my friends, that's it. It's pretty straightforward. The revenue maximizing level of output is where the, where the marginal revenue curve crosses or hits zero and crosses the horizontal axis. All right, my friends, I hope you found this video to be helpful. Be good to yourselves out there and we'll talk to you in a bit.